Yeah. Of course, I picked the hottest day of the year right. to do this. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, the last day of our trip. Um, How's it we been just four days or three days? Right Wednesday, now, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. This is the fourth day. I told you, Dad. Um, it's really. I mean, are we fighting over how many days we've been gone? Anyway, um, we are, we're just leaving the hotel. We got everything packed up. Leaving what? The hotel? The hotel. The hotel. Oh, Except for my pillow, y'all, my neck hurts so bad. If you were on the fence about getting a Sutero pillow, get you one because now I'm like a real believer. Now that I've lost mine, I'm so upset about it. Anyway, um, it's fine. I'll get another one. Uh, well, I have my lavender one at home too. Anyway, um, Stop saying, um. Stop saying um. I know. We are heading to a restaurant called, we're in the Des Moines area. I think we're actually in Urbandale right now, but it's the Des Moines area. Um, so we... <laughs> So we are going to the restaurant called the Machine Chad. Uh, they're supposed to have an amazing breakfast. Craig says cinnamon rolls as big as your head. So we're gonna go there and have a big yummy breakfast. We really haven't eaten anywhere nice. Not that we haven't wanted to, but every night it's been like they want to go swim and we're tired, and we just haven't like gone to sit down and eat anywhere. So I guess we're gonna have a nice breakfast this morning. Um, then we'll go to Living History, and then we'll head home. I'm sad the trip is over, but like. I haven't been home in like two weeks, so it's time to like get home, actually get some groceries, have a meal plan, ride horses, horse show, baseball, all the summertime things that we do at home. We need to get started, but first, one last day of vacay. All right, this is the machine shed. I hope they have a big old omelet. That's what I'm looking for. All right, well, Saturday mornings, they have an amazing buffet, so that's what I'm getting. What are y'all gonna get, boys? Yeah, no. They want the big cinnamon rolls, I think. <laughs> oh boy, y'all. Sam is this salmon, right, Craig? Over there, yeah. Yeah. Um, eggs, pork loin, sausage, bacon. They had the cinnamon rolls. Merritt got a little waffle. They had whipped cream and berries and all kind of stuff. Did you get biscuits and gravy, Koi? Is this so Koi has got fruit. Clearly that's what he's going for first. What'd you get? Anything? Oh, eggs benedict. Looks so yummy. Time to eat. We are all stuffed and about to pop, but I wanted to show y'all how cute is this little, I, it's a shadow, this little chicken feeder. It's got the little, it's kind of like the one from Hobby Lobby that's on my table, but this is like obviously an antique one with all of the flowers in it. Oh my gosh, I gotta find one of these in an antique store, y'all, when I'm on the hunt. Oh, this is really cute too. Oh my gosh, all right. Off to living history. They had a stamp. Excited. <laughs> I just went and put our books back up so I didn't have to lug them around the whole day. But I don't know if I said this, but basically the whole time we have been on this trip, we have been in the National Historic, uh, what's it called? National Heritage Area of the silos and the smokestacks. That's why I like places like this and the Dubuque Museum, the um, aquarium, the National Mississippi River Museum, like we got stamps there, even though they're not really national systems, they're part of the National Heritage Area, which is also fun. So we go in here, find the boys, and we're gonna check out the farm. So we get on this little tractor wagon and go out to one of the farms first. Oh, I guess there's a baseball field here too. And then I think we'll see this is the newerest, the newerest, the newest of the farms over here that you can just walk to. Yes, I just said newerest. <laughs> yeah, well, we go to the oldest first on this little tractor, I think. We're on the wagon. Eric, <laughs> do you love it? Yeah, I do that. I think the boys are a little tired this morning. <laughs> we stayed up too late swimming. Be the last blacksmith shop of the trip. Merit says, let go! <laughs> so we're at the 1700s farm now. Oh, look at those cows. <laughs> so this would have been the Iowa's tribe um, kind of camp. Iowa. Thank you, McCoy. <laughs> this is their little summer house. I don't know what exactly that was. They're doing a, is that a buffalo hide over there? Look at all these old cows. What kind are they? Short I mean, horns. obviously not old, but you know what I mean. Well, either short horn or red and white bulls. Probably a red and white bulls, do you know? I love them. The farmer just corrected me. They're oxen. 
Obviously, I knew that, right? <laughs> Did you love them? Did you think they were going to let you pet them? Hmm. <laughs> we're going into the 1850 farm. Well, I want to do Koi Cam and show you all this big old hog. <laughs> Is that a bird? I don't know. Is he nice? They did a QR code back there on that sign and they're watching the video. I did, but I don't, you have to, is it just play or what? Yeah. It'll open up a web browser. All the signs yeah, have QR like codes for more that. information. I don't Boy, think you're I supposed to pet the animals. <laughs> of course, I picked the hottest day of the year Fine. to do this. It's only gonna be 95 today. I mean, I'm already like sweating down. This is an old barn. <laughs> Right. This is what Craig's been waiting on the whole trip. I asked him the, yesterday what his favorite part of the trip was, and I was like, you don't even have to tell me. I know your favorite part is driving through all of these small towns in Iowa and Wisconsin and Illinois. He loves a back road and driving through all the back roads, and that's like the way it took us because that was like the quickest way. He loves it, and that was his favorite part of the trip, y'all. <laughs> all right, now we're going into the little house at the 1850s farm. Good morning. Hi. I'm just starting up on my dinner already. Yeah. Getting my uh, potatoes peeled for a hash. But I won't put that on until probably around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Then I want to get my apples peeled for some applesauce because that takes about two hours to cook. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get that on as soon as I can. <laughs> you guys been here before? Mm -mm. They haven't, no. <laughs> Do you have any questions about the house? Just one room, right? I've got a question. Where do the kids sleep? You know? Upstairs. See the ladder oh. behind you? Oh, yeah, there's a ladder over there. I didn't see that. Yeah. I so we up call upstairs our storage room. Um, that's where you're going to store all your leftover things that you don't need. So like your, your vegetables and all This is their garden out behind the house. And there's a... This is actually a terrapin though, isn't it? An alligator snapping turtle. Is it really? That's oh, a, snapping. a video of it. Right now, that's a snapping turtle. <laughs> Ooh, he's so cute. And here's the garden. The chickens laid eggs in here. One day, y'all. I'm gonna have chickens. One day. Craig says I have to do all the chores, so I keep waiting to do it until he says he's gonna help me. Here's all the chickens. All right, we're heading into the 1900s farm. Hopefully there's more um, actors or living history or whatever you call them, because that's my favorite part. I really want to churn butter. I feel like I did that last time we were here with Craig, so he doesn't remember it. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Time to go into the 1900 horse powered farm. And I almost tripped. <laughs> the sheep oh, are out. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. They're just chilling out. <laughs> Horses are in the barn. He just went and caught them, I think. Or oh, maybe they have to eat before he loads them all up. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Look how cute. What's all in here? Oh, we got to see this. The horse barn. Can you see the horses this way? Look, it's Sam, one of those things that Calvin. you used to cut holes. Yeah. Sam. Oh, aren't they pretty? This one is Judah and Ben. Ben. <laughs> See, they have Can I uh, here. I don't know. Probably not. He let the chickens out. Oh my. 
Where are they gonna run to? Right, they just are loose, stop. I guess. Yep. They're gonna pick you, boy. <laughs> more hogs over here. The cattle were back there. Is he feeding them? <laughs> Good morning. Good. Been here before? They haven't, no. <laughs> well, this is our 1900 farm. A lot of differences between this and that last farm you left, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 50 years. It all has to do with railroad. Once that railroad came to Iowa, it changes everything. Check out the 1850s farmhouse. Oh yeah, this is this is 1900. Yeah, sorry. Oh, this would've been nice. Very nice. It is lovely. This must have been the mom and daddy's bedroom. No electricity. Right? Hey y'all. <laughs> oh, what a nice kitchen. Upstairs, we can't go up there though. My video stopped recording so I don't know where I was, but here's the cooler pantry. I want a big old walk-in pantry like this one day and I want to have it. I like this with all these jars. I think that's so cool. <laughs> Maybe not very practical, but this is probably like the summer kitchen out here on the porch where it was nice and cool. And then I think I showed, this was the dining room with the big stove. I love these too, where you would keep the flower down there in that. Can I, can I open this or am I going to get in trouble? Not this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, see the flower. Oh, there's flour in there. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, that was the sugar. This is the flour. I feel like I need one of these with all my keto baking stuff. <laughs> so now we're at the 1900s town where it's all laid out, the shops and the blacksmith and all that. This is the Flynn Mansion in 1867. Oh, it is so pretty, but we can't go in. I don't know why. And was this the barn then down here that went with it? And then they just built this little town around it, I guess. Did they move all these buildings here or are they reproductions? I know this house and this barn are original, but the other stuff they moved here from other places. Merritt, my camera went dead. Are you tired, Merritt? You just want one more blacksmith shop? National Register of Historic Places. It is beautiful. It's a big old house for the 1800s. Gracious. It's in this barn. We found the blacksmith shop. We're not burning wood in there. We're burning coal. That fire can get up to about 3,000 degrees. Stuff air in there. Yes, 3,000 degrees. I don't want it quite that hot. This is a very small piece. But I want my piece to be about 2,000 degrees. Gotta be pros degrees. at this by now. So it's nice <laughs> and soft. Hard. He's gonna so put the beeswax so all over a thing he's been making here while we were watching. Than paraffin wax when it burns like this. Oh, cool. This. It's kind of like the joke, like, none of your So that seals it all up then? Well, since I head over the heat, it's nice and warm, so it's going to melt that wax, and then that wax is going to make a coating on the outside of the metal. It's kind of like if you dip something in a big thing of plastic. It's going to keep all, mm -hmm. it'll help keep uh, water and air away from that so it doesn't get rusty. And I kind of like wax because wax lets you see through it as well. So you do get that kind of different colors of the metal, different light little facets that are in there from the hammer strike. So. Cool. All right, now we're gonna go walk through town. You're welcome um, for me giving you all the history of the blacksmith shops on this trip. I know you were enthralled. <laughs> 
<laughs> Merritt was sitting there rattling off all the things on the anvil and all this stuff and this, that, and the other. And they're like, oh, wow. And I'm like, this is the third blacksmith shop in three days. Okay. <laughs> Here's the implement shop. This is what Herbert Hoover's daddy would have um, ran after the blacksmith shop. He bought an implement store. All these things, the farm store. Uh, right, Craig? <laughs> we made it to the drug store. <laughs> oh. Oh. You want to try it? You want to try to do this in it? Can you do it? Is it hard? <laughs> Okay. Oh, to make the medicine taste better? Cool. You're going to give Koi a turn? <laughs> Is it hard to do? Yeah. The milliner, Millen, millinery. Yes, millinery. A millinery. Millen, a millinery. Works at the millinery. Oh, fabulous! Yes. Look at the hats. The millinery is a fancy word for ladies' hat shops. So, gentlemen, I'm sorry, I have very little for you here. This is just for mommy. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Yes. If you wanted to buy a hat, you would probably go to the general store in a town look like this. Look how beautiful that is. And your hats would be made factory and you could buy them for like 10 cents, 15 cents, super inexpensive. <laughs> but for ladies, these hats would be custom made, so you could pick out exactly what you wanted, the materials, the decorations, the color schemes. So fun. Yeah. Here's the print shop. Let's see, I think somebody's in there. So that they hit just the right spot. And then you run all of your copies through. So you always make extra because you know that not all of them are going to turn out right. Now with this one, your ink is down below. Your letters are here. So as this comes back, it grabs the paper, it comes across those inked up letters, it drops it off. The rollers come behind to re-ink. Then it drops down as it rolls back so it doesn't touch anything. Pops back up as it grabs the next piece of paper and it goes again. And this press was invented as a portable press. There was a minister who wanted to be able to travel and print as he traveled, so he invented this as something he could take with him. So, anybody want to cart this home in your car today? <laughs> yeah, we don't consider it very portable. I am working on something for our baseball team. Ooh. I am working on putting together rules for the baseball team. Only this year they decided instead of having just a piece of paper like this, they want to do something a little more fun for their fans and have what's called a pennant, where their fans can actually wave it and cheer them on. Cool. So I have to figure out how to actually fit this onto this. So what is that a picture of there? Yeah. That is a horse oh, is with it? a oh, hay rake. Sure, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's so neat. Yes. So when you're working with these letters, you have to remember that all the letters are backwards. They are. Because when you print, it's going to print facing forwards. All right, child, now we're in the bank. We just left the print shop. It was, my hair is a mess. I am a hot, sweaty mess, but the print shop was so good. I always love to see the print shop, y'all know, because in another life, I was a graphic designer, so I love to go and see, and I was telling the boys, you could see the drawers, like the, um, the drawers for all the little um, stamp. What do you call those? The print, the little blocks where the letters are, you know what I'm talking about. And I told them they had those hanging on their um, walls for their shadow boxes that I keep all their stuff in. And they were like, no, that's what those are. Anyway, what did she tell us that I did not know? The term uppercase and lowercase came from the print shop because that was what they would put the, the letters in the cases. And so the upper upper case letters will go at the top and the lower case letters will go at the bottom so that's why I always say like upper and lower case you're welcome you're learning so much for me on this trip y'all <laughs> all right y'all we're somewhere in Iowa we loved we're in Des Moines. no we're not we're past Des Moines we're um 
We loved Living History Farms. I didn't get to turn butter though. I'm super annoyed about that. I thought there would be more like people out and about. There was as we got like into the town there was more, but you know me, I always want more, but it was still good and fun. And they, we stayed in the blacksmith's um, shop the longest, obviously, you know that. Um, what was I gonna say? We're gonna get Jimmy John's. We're waiting in line for Jimmy John's. Merritt got, um, what'd you get? What's it called? Burger King. Burger King, Burger King because he he's hates spoiled. He hates Jimmy John's and he's spoiled, so we went and got him Burger King. And now, um, uh, I'm so wetting still. Well, I guess I'm drying off. Um, Gonna get us some Jimmy John's and then we're heading this car back home. Uh, I was gonna end it here, but maybe we'll see if anything else happens and then I'll end it when we get home. It only took us all the way to get home to finally clean the windshield off. <laughs> I got an unwitch on no idea. The beach Club is my favorite. I'm gonna eat and then find us a podcast on the car and make our way home. Okay, y'all, we made it home. I watered the flowers in the garden. The boys are outside feeding and loving on the ponies. We've missed all of our animals and everything here on the farm. I wanted to show you a few things that came in while I was gone. First of all, this Oregon Trail book. I listened to a podcast called, I actually listened to quite a few of them. They're called Benjamin Frank or Ben Franklin's World, and she just does a ton of U.S. history, early American history. And she talked to this rinker butt guy on one of the Oregon Trail podcasts. And he had written this book of his actual travels along the Oregon Trail, like not long ago. I don't know, in the 2000s. Um, he took a wagon, a team of, of um, mules, and him and his brother went across the Oregon Trail, like in present day, to see what it was like. And he was so interesting, and I just had to get the book. So I did. <laughs> I wanted to take it on this trip, but I mean, let's be real, I didn't even finish my Spirit Lake Massacre yet. So I, I wouldn't have gotten to it anyway. But I did pick that up. I'll let you know, my history girls out there, if it's good or not. Um, also, one of my teacher friends said she was getting this. Um, these simple solutions books for her kids. They this is the um, I don't know if it says it anywhere, but it's the uh, summer summertime one. So the actual books for the school year are much thicker, but this is just like to do during the summer, just to kind of keep up your math. Um, really, it's Merritt that is the one that's going to do this in the fourth grade. This simple solutions, and I kind of wanted him to be ready for it. So I did go ahead and get um, McCoy one too, so they can both do it. And it's just like a page. You just would do a page a day, and it's just quick kind of little math questions just to keep your mind going um and then you just write the answer right over here on the other side of the sheet so i did pick those books up i got them just straight off the simple oh it does say summer right here <laughs> the simple solutions website um for the boys so we'll be doing this along with reading every day um kind of the rule that we're going to start starting monday is you have to read three chapters and do one page of this before you can have ipad time so we'll see how that works out but i got those i also picked this up I'm not going to hang it up, but it's an earring um, organizer, and it just hangs. Um, it's got, like, the um, wooden pieces, and it hangs on the wall because I have so many earrings on, and they just lay on my dresser. So I was hoping that this would be kind of fun. Um, I'll link it in household, I guess, um, in my Amazon storefront, but I'll put it up in a vlog sometime soon and kind of show you what it looks like in my room with all the earrings on it, but I have been needing that. I also ordered these um, High Low Life Chips. They had great reviews on Amazon. I'll put them in my keto storefront. Uh, I kind of got them for like the end of the school year slash vacationing just to have chips, you know, like on the road trips. And they didn't come in in time, but I just opened this bag of ranch. Oh my gosh, y'all, they're so good. They're like... Um, I love a good Quest chip, y'all know that, but these are much crunchier and more like a real, like, Dorito would be, so I'm super excited about these. Um, I cannot remember how much they cost or anything like that, but it's the ranch, the spicy salsa, and the nacho cheese, so I got 12 bags in this box, and I cannot wait to eat all of them. They're so good. Um, now I'm going to go through all of the souvenirs. I just kept everything in this Mississippi River um, Museum otter bag. Here's my... Uh, a Spirit Lake Massacre that I've not finished yet. So good. Um, so I'm going to go through all of these. You've seen them all. I showed you everything we got. But I was going to find the magnets and go ahead and um, put those on our magnet boards. Okay, so here are the ornaments that I got. Wisconsin, the Illinois Galena one, the Herbert Hoover one, and then the um, National Mississippi River Museum. The only one I didn't get was from Effigy Mounds, and I can't find one online, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but we'll figure it out. I also got the ornaments from Wisconsin. The Mississippi River Museum and then the Galena one that looks like the egg that I had to search everywhere to find. I can't remember. Did I? 
vlog. Did I show y'all this? I'm trying to get it to focus. I cannot remember, but it's got um, the city, and it says um, Galena, Illinois on it, and um, yeah, it was in like a, I don't remember if I vlogged in there or not, but it was like a Christmas ornament store, and so of course they had these there, but anyway, I'll put those away with their travel tree stuff, and then I don't know if I ever showed you their actual um, badges from Herbert Hoover either. It says National Historic Site, and it's got the... I think this is supposed to be the little cottage that we toured where he was born. So we'll hang those up too and we'll get these on the magnet board. And then as soon as I get my pictures all uploaded, I'll print those out um, and I'll show you where those will go. So I'll put the pictures here in Illinois and Wisconsin once I get those printed. I think I might even, um, this is our Iowa picture. I might uh, redo this one and print out the effigy mounds. Um, picture for that one since all the other ones are basically national park related <laughs> national parks that we've been to so I might redo that one um, then of course I'll put the picture of us in front of Grant's house in Illinois and then Wisconsin we just took the picture by the sign so I have Idaho like that too we really didn't go into Idaho we just kind of went by the sign and went into West Yellowstone and said we went to Idaho but that's okay we were there that's all this is it's a check mark of which state you've been to not if you actually like stayed there for a week anyway um, so I'll put so these are, I'm sure y'all have seen this, but uh, these are the magnets on both sides of the state of like stuff that we've been to like Galena. Let me see if you'll fit up here. And then the, um, oh, that fell. The Mississippi Museum, Mississippi River Museum, and then Wisconsin. Hang on, let me pick this up. So all of those type of ornaments go here. Anything, basically any kind of museum, tourist attraction, state, whatever, that's not um, national park system. And so that's this one over here too. We just had to get two because we were running out of space. Um, Cause y'all know we love to travel. And then this side is our national parks um, map. And then on this side of the magnets, we put the national parks that we've been to. Um, these are just like proper big national parks, like. Yellowstone, Badlands, Tetons, Theodore Roosevelt. We don't have very many, as you can see, we got lots more to go. And this over here is just like the National Park System. So, Pipestone National Monument, Knife River Indian Village, <laughs> Indian Village Historic Site, um, Fort Union Trading Post, that was a historic site, Scott's Bluff, Nas any National Monument historic site or military park or, um, you know, anything like that goes over here. So, we'll put Herbert Hoover there. Of course, we have Harry S. Truman's. Um, George Washington Carver, Fort Smith National Historic Site, anything that was um, National Park System goes over here. And that is how we do it. Now let me put their um, Junior Ranger badges up. And if you followed us along for the Omaha Zoo trip and you wonder why I didn't get a magnet or an ornament from there, it's because we already have one. <laughs> Alright, I got the Herbert Hoover one. Um, are we focusing? It's hard to see. I got that one hung up and then as soon as I get a chance, probably Monday, they have a baseball game Monday morning, I will mail the one from Effigy Mound since there wasn't a park ranger there since the visitor center was still closed. So this is all of their junior ranger badges from all the national parks and national park services. This is so fun y'all. Y'all know we love a collection. I mean are you surprised we collect these? <laughs> okay y'all um I am just trying to get things back in order in this house. Um Craig is running around with some sort of a hose thing the boys are busy cleaning out the pool it was 99 degrees in the car not in the car but on the car um thermometer on the way home so i'm thinking they're fixing to get this pool going which i mean i might even get in it is so hot y'all oh my goodness but um i'm gonna go ahead and end this one here y'all our trip was amazing i'm glad that we got to bring y'all along and kind of show you what we did um that way that uh, we can look and the boys can look back on the trip too and remember how much fun we had um these videos are so much fun for us uh just as much fun as they are for y'all to watch or hopefully as much fun as they are for you to watch so that we can look back on our travels so anyway thanks so much for following me along y'all subscribe to my channel there's lots more summertime vlogs to come, just days in the life and regular old summer stuff and regular old Haley redecorating and <laughs> changing things up in the house and buying all the things. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.